Don't burn your house down with soldering and don't expose it to leaks using press fittings. Today, I'm gonna show you the cheapest tool that we could find on Amazon and well, Rigid, a name known to all plumbers, and these are press tools. Press fittings are something that are becoming more popular in plumbing companies and in the plumbing industry. The reason being, well, it saves time. It saves time and you don't have to have a fire watch. So there's a lot of good reasons that you may wanna invest in this and try this. So literally we thought today that we would put something together and press it with rigid. We thought we'd put something together and press it with Abosayo, I don't know. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put it together. We're gonna press it and then, well, we're going back to the blast chamber to put it together and test it and see what it does. So, as we get ready to do this, let's jump in here and open them up and see what we got. So first of all, we've got the Rigid RP-115. Now, this is a press tool that we've used in the past. We love it, it works great. It's small, it's compact, it gets in tight areas, it has a swivel head. There's a lot of good things about this tool and we love having it because, well, there's times that we need a press tool and this works great. Now, this one is like an abosad, I guess, abosad. Anyway, oh wait. Squirt, where's the battery? Oh, no way. Well, now I know why it's $100. Guys, I mean, I tell you what though, th this thing's pretty heavy. You've got a reset that opens it up, squeeze it into work, pump it up. Almost like a big flashlight handle here. You've got changeable heads on it, just like you do on this. Oh, you've got replacement parts in here. They come with their own little tubing cutters here. So let's pull some stuff out, put it together, and see what we can do. We've got our marker. So I'm gonna open up here. Now, we are using Vega on all of these, and as you see, they're, they're all brand new fittings. We just opened up the bag. So I'm gonna reach out in the magic drawer and get out some safety glasses and gloves. Now, a lot of times when you're joining copper, you'll use jersey gloves uh, to wipe solder, to do things like that. Oops. For this, I want my latex gloves, and of course my safety glasses so I don't get anything in my eye, and I shouldn't. Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. And I gotta tell you, I love these rigid reamers because they ream the inside and they bubble the outside, which I know has already been done, but just kind of touching it up. Everything looks good there. This one was reamed, good. You put these together, you wanna make sure it slides all the way in. Now, we've got a marker out here because as we put these in the blast chamber, we wanna make sure that if it starts to pull out, we know. So we're gonna put a male and a female on each piece and I'm marking them, that way I know that they don't slide back out. Now, I can feel when I push it together that they're all the way in, so I know I'm good. Now, the rigid, very easy. Open it up, put it right where it goes, line it up and squeeze your trigger. I'm not sure how long that took, but it wasn't very long. All the way in and squeeze. And once it releases, we're good. Pull it out, that one is done. Now that's kind of nice, that didn't take very much. So this setup here is about $1,000. Now, you saw how quick that went, and that's not a bad deal. The Evis adds about $99, well, 100. So we're gonna play with it and see what it does. Unlock it, open it up, line it up right where it goes, put it back together, and start cranking. All right, now you can feel it right there starting to grab it. Now we've got this knob, you've got reset where you open it up where it pulls the jaws apart, and then you've got working where you tighten it down. So I'm just gonna go. Oh, 
Am I supposed to count or just keep going till it stops? Now I gotta tell you, if I'm under a house trying to do this, there's a lot of pressure here. And what you're trying to do is you're trying to squeeze it until your jaws come together. Now, I got it pretty tight there. So at this point, I'm gonna open up to release as it did, unlock my jaws and pull it out. So it gets to a point where really you can't push much more. And my mark says we're at full insertion depth. Now, I've still got a little gap in there. I can do it this way, but I'm telling you, if I'm working up under a house or something, that's gonna be, that's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna get, oh, damn. Get a broken nose there. Now, hey, it took a little more work, but it went together and I'm at full insertion depth on both of them. And you can look inside too and you see that it's all the way in. So, guys, there's no difference in them right now. They're put together, everything's done tight. I think we're good. So what we're gonna do is go over to the blast chamber and see if we can blow some things apart, which I know we can. All right, so we've got the water on to the hydrostatic pump. Gonna go ahead and ease the pressure on right here. And the needle just barely came up, but we're looking at 1,000 pounds there. Come over here, we're up to 72 PSI, and we got the slow-mo camera going. So let's jump in here and see what it does. 2,900, 4,000. And the press fitting blew out the end. So we'll go back and see what the number was at. Right, bleeding out the air again. This is the Ibisad. This is the $100 tool versus the over 7,000 pounds of pressure we got out of the $1,000 tool. So let's see what happens. 2,500. Okay, so we've tested them and you know what? They both did pretty good. Now the rigid, I love this, it's lightweight. You can spin the head around, you can get into all kinds of different places. This one here, you know what? It, it doesn't rotate, well, it rotates and swivels, so, so you're gonna be able to get in different areas, but there's some places this might actually be able to get into easier than that. One of the big things that I noticed is, look, this thing's heavy, this is pretty solid. Uh, you've got a chamber down here for your hydraulics to pump it up. Your adjustment knob feels a little cheesy, but man, it's all stainless steel down here, so it looks like it may last for a long time. One of the biggest concerns today with building anything is the cost. When you're looking at a $1,000 tool versus a $100 tool, my benefits of this one is this is gonna be used a lot. And as you see, they, they both blew apart at the same place. This one here, still made up right where it's supposed to be on that end. Same thing down here. It looks like it may have moved out just a little bit, but when you look at these, this here crimped in pretty hard and held on. About the same as that one. So my thought, if I'm running a big job site, I probably want something like this. If I'm a homeowner and I'm just gonna do a few presses to keep me from soldering in the wall, in the attic, maybe under the house, this is gonna be a little more manual work, but it's going to work. So our test results? Well, the Rigid tested at 73.38. The Ebo side tested at about 6,600. Now you may say, Roger, that's a lot of difference there. That's about what, 700, 750 pounds of pressure? Here's the deal. Your pressure is probably gonna be like it was where we turned it on here. 70, 72 PSI. Mine at my house is about 100. Most homes these days are putting in a pressure reducing valve to cut that down to 80 PSI. Either one of these are gonna hold 80 PSI for a long time. And special shout out to Vega. Guys, they just held 66 and 7300 PSI. Such a great thing.
And if you're trying to save money on your job, this is definitely faster than soldering and definitely holds more pressure than push to connect. So if you're a plumber out in the field and you use either one of these, do me a favor and let me know. If you're a homeowner or a plumber and you've bought this because you know every now and then you need to make a press connect fitting, man, I would love to know what your thoughts are on both of these. Do me a favor and leave me a comment down below. And if you're a plumber, would you buy this and put on your truck and save $900? Up to you. If you like this video, guys, I'll definitely think you're gonna like that one.